Hail and well met on this most beautiful Saturday evening. Man, getting my retinas burned out by that by that flash of the dawn trail. Loading screen just fills me with so much excitement. Go ahead and uh, get this fired up. I hope everyone's had a most excellent weekend so far. I'm your pal Rune Weird, and uh, we'll be continuing on with the MSQ which I uh, have very sadly done very little of. Uh, so maybe it's not going to be too terribly spoilery for a lot of people, but uh, it's definitely no heavens or gloom. No, no, it is not. And good to see you, Venetia Silver. All right, let's... Uh, I spent... Uh, I spent way more more time today uh, wrestling with trying to to get a VOD edited uh, for the YouTube channel. Uh, yeah, you know what? Actually, yeah, let's do that. Uh, 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 do we not have just a back? Yeah, there we are. Ah, uh, that's, that's, that's just beautiful right there. <laughs> that's the, uh, uh, sorry, Venetia. Hey, Ashen, how you doing, brother? All right, let's, uh. back to whoops and of course awesome <laughs> i should have just clicked on the stupid movie or the uh the trailer option again all right well hey set max level on my main hate the armor at the moment though 45 seconds left well that that and you probably can't hear me venetia but uh the the good thing is I've set it to uh it, it should only pop like once once an hour something like that. That was the uh, minimum I could do. Uh, and just bear with me a second here, folks. I zigged when I should have zagged. Womp 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 womp. Thanks, brother. Womp, 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 womp. Stupid authenticator. Once again, I just wanna I just wanna voice my my mild displeasure. Just because, you know, like I mean like I just want, I want it to be a little closer to like, and I hate to say this. Um, I would love, I would love if they had a similar setup to the battle net setup where you basically only have to use your authenticator like a couple times a year. Well, I, I definitely, so I started. I really like the heavens word loading screen. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, but I always, I always feel a little, I always feel a little, uh, a little prejudiced towards Shadowbringers cause that's kind of where I started was the tail end of Shadowbringers. The real boss login stuff, the real boss battles. That's right. Um, but yeah, like Heaven's Word is is absolutely so pleasing on the eyes. But then again, yeah, it's it's tough for me. I, I always lean towards Shadowbringers because, like I say, that's I came in at the very tail end of, of Shadowbringers, and and I just I have that you know it's that nostalgia thing.
6.1. Awesome. All right. Ooh, 2K and Q. Woohoo. Well, we might be uh we might be just hanging out and chat. You know what? I'm not surprised because you know, it is it is the it is the weekend, right? Like uh, a lot of people were not uh like myself who took took a week off. <laughs> Oh, someone's spoiled. <laughs> A whole lot of 200 people in queue. Just bear with me a second here, folks. I'm just going to turn off the camera so I can indulge in my filthy uh, habit of smoking. That's the other thing that impresses me too is that even when there's a queue, man, does that their authentication servers churn through this stuff. Invested in the story room, in my honest opinion, it's worth uh, experiencing. Awesome. Uh, can I post my Warrior of Light uh, sorry I'm not sure what the second L is there for Venetia You're, uh, you're more than welcome to join uh, my Discord server, uh, Venetia, if that's uh, something that, inter that interests you. It's a bunch of uh, pretty laid back nerds and geeks that talk about D&D, Final Fantasy XIV, and, and uh, heavy metal and all that kind of stuff. Another one to add to the pile, yeah. Dave Kikitola is southwest of Akanu. We can return to the village first, then head there on foot. I hate your fast cues. I. I, I I feel I feel like I'm I'm very very spoiled. Oh look at the grass! We're swerving. We're Tokyo drifting on fat cat. Freaking love that so much. And yes, I know I, I I I'm usually lazy and just pop back to the crystal, but I'm still in uh, absolute. Uh, I don't know. This is probably not even a word, but I'm in complete enamoration with the, with the graphical upgrade. So, whoa, what the.
Oh, nice. That is a freaking outfit and a half. <laughs> for when it, if you're in a social mode, <laughs> that's awesome. And fully armored to kick ass. Wow. That's gorgeous. Awesome, awesome, awesome. All right. I'm just gonna sit here with my mouth open like a mouth breather and holy crap. Oh yeah, the Aether Crystals and they're and what I love is that there's there's always a very uh regional uniqueness to them, right? All right, yeah. All right, let's let's focus, Rune. Focus. Like, look at that. Like, just the, like it. It's really like seventy percent is the lighting. Like, oh man, I could stare at that stuff forever. But I'll do that in my personal time. <laughs> I do have to remember I have people to somewhat entertain. Southwest of here, was it? Let us be on our way. Oh, all right. Okay, so... Yeah, yeah, like, likey, likey a lot. Woo! Get the. Wah, 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 wah. Point six k to go. Did I? I should have just stayed logged while I was waiting on pizza. Gotta be tall to look down on Thagrid. Ha ha ha! To get dinner. Ah. Uh, and that's and that's why I that's why I made sure to have uh, have my eats before. Okay, but he wouldn't stay still in duty support. <laughs> okay. Oh, that is awesome. 20s, 20s, a fantastic birthday, man. You wish, uh, you wish that young, that young man a happy birthday. Hey, Kikatola, as promised, home to many deadly creatures. Venture inside if you feel confident. I will conduct my own search out here. 
You can spot raw uh, a boxia uh, by its green-hued glimmer. Bring anything matching that description to me. But it's not 20. <laughs> yeah, you know what? Don't be in ru don't be in a rush, young man. Don't be in a rush. You uh you you keep keep the numbers nice and low because yeah you, you, you all of a sudden you it that number is far far in the rear view mirror. I'm a small kid. Uh, Ellis and ladies. Very cool. Ah, okay. And is it 21 because they serve, uh, they serve, uh, their ash? And is that why it's 21 to get in? Shall help Scott on the inside of the cave then. Take the west half and I'll take the east. Gotcha. I just take them, just take them across the border to British Columbia. And you only have to be 18 there or 19. Sorry. I think it's, I think it's 18 in Quebec. Okay. The laptops are so nice to log in and see how nice everything. Ah, oh, that's awesome. That you were able to upgrade, so that way you can actually see the uh, to see the goodness. Is it Germany sixteen to drink? Well, it it very well may be. Like they're they're a lot more relaxed in Europe from playing Final Fantasy uh, on a Ryzen five ten sixty to an. Yeah, that's a little bit of an upgrade. <laughs> That's awesome, Venetia. Okay. Ah, there we are. Like, just look at the lighting. Like, look at the light and shadow. That's just freaking awesome. If you used to be reach the counter, yeah, pretty much. And added an MMO mouse. Nice. That is uh that is something uh just light reflecting off the water. Yeah, which is whoa, 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 whoa. Shift Q. <laughs> uh, very smart. Very smart. I've got to. That's one thing I've got to do. I do miss my uh, uh, my MMO mouse that uh, that passed away many moons ago. And I just couldn't bring myself to spend the the money, so I just I just br I break the I break the buffalo fingers. <laughs> uh, you find a chunk of uh, oh, what a distinct shade of green. This seems like the exact kind of mineral Inuhanu once was looking for. All right, perfect. All right. Oh, let's stop. Whoa, whoa, hey. I will let me know. All right, brother. Is on the mouse. Nice. And you're in it. Like, is it all along the side of the mouse? And you're comfortable with that? Awesome. That's awesome. Look at that. Like I know I know it's just glow in the dark lichen, but man is that pretty.
taking a lot of muscle memory to break. Yes, yeah. Oh, I, I know. I peeked over the ground near the entrance, but found nothing. Did you have better luck inside the cave? Yeah, the light, the lighting, it, 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 I mean, everything else, yes, is absolutely gorgeous, like absolutely wonderful, but the lighting is what puts the icing on top of the cake. Like, it really does. Yes, this is a boxica. Or sorry, a bucket, a bucket, a bucket, a back, a, uh, a bakisha. Bakisha. There we are. Along with cross contribution, they're more than enough for our needs. Stuns, the stones you brought shine very bright. Thank you. Whoa. For fun, go to Ishgard and see if the new lighting makes that great castle place look better. Oh, God. I love Ishgard. I would, uh, I, yeah, like if we were to, if we were to pick, if we actually, you know what, where, where would you guys hang your hat in, in the final fantasy 14, uh, realm? If, if you had your druthers, like if you were able to teleport there and, and have a nice house and stuff like that, I, for, for myself, it's Ishgard all the way. I'm going to miss some of the jank lighting to the faces, though. Oh, Ashen. The ruins of Praetorium. I broke it. I bought it. <laughs> he would have been happy to know we were putting things right. Truth be told, a good friend of mine was meant to be festival leader for this year. Ilhi Ahana. And invite Gaius to dinner. Ha 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 ha, yes. Ah, but when the big storm hit, he he did not survive. It fell to me to carry carry on in his stead. That was why you agreed to what Lamat's request. Despite your initial reluctance. Yes, it hurt to hear, but she was right. Though I must mourn, I cannot let my grief consume me. Her words made me realize that the path to my recovery, our recovery, is already laid out before me. And I will walk it for myself and for my friend. Awesome, dude. Thank you for sharing your story with us. Please rest assured that we've taken your plight to heart. You look at the fabric of his, uh, like his vaster or whatever you want to call it. it. Just in the feathers and stuff. Oh my God. I'm certain our companions are procuring the other materials as we speak. Everything will come together. The Hanu shall host a splendid, uplifting festival. Okay. Awesome. That we shall. With that, let us return and deliver uh, the Abakasha into Wokawu's waiting hands. Sir shall we have fried marmot and cactuar salad? Or would you prefer some buffalo <laughs> from Lanasia? Also, we'll be dining in the place we blew up. Dress nice. I bring him a card when he arrives. <laughs> this is your intention. Yes. Oh my god. All right. Oh, 
Oh, shh, I just zagged when I should have zigged. Awesome. That's all right. We'll just run, we'll just run through the wilderness again. It's all good. Uh, Gaius is, well, Gaius is pretty strong and he's also, uh, I mean, he's not, I can see why he's attractive just because, well, number one, he's, he's strong, but yeah, I, I think part of what makes him attractive too is the, uh, you know, there's that, the whole redemption, uh, piece. Tokyo drifting around the stairs. I'll uh, I'll go I'll take a peek at Ishgard uh once I get to another town with a crystal. There, Venetia. Thanks to the third promise and her mighty swings, we've collected some suitable logs. Are you poor? What of the Abakacha? <laughs> to chase to move faster. Yeah, fatter cat. I I tell you, I no matter how much I I exercise them. But look at, look at little fat cat's little pink toes. Ah, shit. Can't, I can't. Yes, these are excellent samples. A good quantity, too. At this stage, you've likely surmised that the lifting of wings encourages the crops to grow. And are not exactly how, eh? Well, you're in for a treat. All goes to plan. The results should be spectacular. Oh, <laughs> how to get to work crafting these pieces for the float. I could use an assistant first in the arcane arts to enhance the yellow pose conductivity. Then I'd be delighted to help. Everyone else should head back to Akanu. We'll join you at the float once the work here is complete. As promised. Uh, what do we want to do? Uh, you think uh, foundation, Venetia? Crystals are just, and look, oh my God, look at the, holy freaking F me, uh, Uh, I use the uh, home, the uh, sorry, print uh, the scroll lock key to hide the HUD. Wow, 
see it's the it, like the lighting is just oh and the sun's starting to rise you can see the rays of the sun holy mama like come on yeah here comes the sun quote four famous lads from from england holy look at the reflection off the axes yeah oh yeah i'm, I'm yeah i'm looking at the stonework like this is just uh young and ridiculous to be perfectly honest and the breath the breath looks great i mean it always did but now it's like ah freaking cool all right whoo Yeah, it just pops more now. Like, yeah, like it just, and that's, I think that's the thing I love so much is that, you know, it wasn't a in your face, like brand new video game. Uh, it just took what was there and made it prettier. was a trial in and of itself. At first, Bukivu criticized everything I did. Then he suddenly yelled, I spoke in Hilla the third promise and must punish myself, and proceeded to slam his head into a Yopa tree. <laughs> I told him not to worry about it again, and it was like suffering out a, stuffing out a candle. He's an odd one, that's for sure. Making each note a bit more impact that you're 100% right, sir. 100% right. At least we've seen to the poles and the new eye. Now we just have to wait for the feathers from the twins. Show everyone your your pretty little pink toes. Look at the little pink part in his ear. Oh my god. Yeah, yeah. The the colors and and metal like the. Yeah, in that for for me, it's just the textures. Period. Like, oh look at the little pink toesies. Oh my god. Uh, Matt settles down to rest before the festival gets underway. We should get some rest before the excitement begins. Screw that. We got MSQ to get through. There ain't no rest. Over there, by the float. Isn't that the third promise? Then the rumors are true. She's trying to complete uh, complete the feat of reeds by reviving Ilyana. Festival is a prayer for healthy crops, but does she honestly believe that'll be enough to save our harvest? The second promise, meanwhile, barely glanced at the fields before leaving Akhanu altogether. Maybe we asked too much of our young claimant. 
No, the second. Dude's kind of a dick. Oh, I wouldn't be too quick to count Kona out. A friend of mine overheard him muttering by the reeds. Something about what needs to be done. Ezra barely has pink toes anymore. Tend to be covered in mud. His nose though is very pink. Well, that's awesome. Well, he's a he's an outdoor roamer, right? So that makes sense. <laughs> I love it. Is that so? Perhaps we'll get to see another of his innovations firsthand. Sorry, I got the second mixed up with uh that Baloo Jaja -ja guy. Uh, and I know I'm butchering his name, but the uh, the other two headed. Uh, dude, it's a complete dick. Ah, that sounds like Arcona. One look at the reeds was all he needed to think up a solution. That is it may, our own solution is nearly ready. Indeed. As soon as the others get back, our long-awaited festival can begin. Sitting on the porch in his chair. Yeah, yeah. Just protecting the house. Damn straight. It took some doing, but we managed to gather competitors to vie for the title of Wind's Chosen. The winner was only too happy to donate his feathers. He should have seen it. He called forth an incredible gust that sent his feathers sailing for moms. Can't wear uh, helmets. Well, yeah. And I, and I mean that. Like, hopefully, hopefully that'll that'll be something that comes down. Yeah, the 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 pipe, right? Uh, we had a turn ourselves, but it's more difficult than it looks. Poor Aaronville's twirled in the air for a moment before landing on his foot. I am a cleaner. Magic is not part of our training. And by the way, guys, is the is the chat box okay in the upper left-hand corner, or would you prefer it on uh, the right-hand side? Have you seen the new character creation? Uh, they have tank, healer, DPS. No! No, I have I I have not looked at that uh, yet, Venetia. As for us, we brought the wood and gemstone replacements crafted by Wokivu. All that is, that's left is to attach them. Has it been decided who will ride the float? Papa was the guest of honor the last time I was here. I remember being surprised they could even lift the thing with his hulking weight on top of it. The rider must be a personage of great esteem, which is why an invitation is usually extended to the dawn servant. This time, however, however, I have another in mind. Oh, who is it? Our beloved Ilihana, the lifting of wings is only being held because of you and your companions. Thus do I nominate you, Muklamai, as our guest of honor. Oh, me? This won't, won't make me seasick, will it? <laughs> Ah, uh, poor Wuck. I don't think so. Then weigh the anchor. I can hardly refuse a request from one even more enthusiastic about the festival than me. I would be delighted to ride your float. Thank you, Wuck Lamont. I have rules for the rest of you as well. 
will be carrying the festival float in a slow procession towards Kozen... Kozenuaki. Kozenuaki, where the sacred likeness of Kizala is ensconced. <laughs> I bet these who got attacked by a rogue pig. A rogue pictomancer! Oh my god. <laughs> and then that the pictomancer cast it as a curse, so obviously future generations would be born with the with the full palette of colors. Oh my god, that's awesome. <laughs> what I'd like you to do is clear the path of dangerous wildlife. So that the procession can move along unimpeded. Consider it done. You expect me to sit until Wookie Woo has finished with the float. Let me come along and help with the clearing. As you know, I am not much for fighting. I'll stay behind and assist the Wookie Woo with the repairs. You aren't sure where you need to go. The path I spoke of begins at the south of the village and branches off to the east. That will lead you across the bridges to the stride of the sun. Then we shall see the clearing, <laughs> clearing it to the to end. End to end, sorry. That gun breaker, that's a blade and a half. And uh, has male aura syndrome. What's 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 the male aura syndrome there, Venetia? Fast animation, slow speed, okay. As Linu Hanu said, those are knocking. Should be down this way, then off to the east, from the path branches. Then something about bridges and the stride of the sun. <laughs> I love that she is so a warrior trope. Something, something. All I know is we gotta kill stuff. Like, let's, let's get her done. Anyway, let's split up and go to work. Once you've called all the threats you can find, We'll meet up in front of Kixali. <laughs> I don't know, something about sun strides and this and that. Son of a bitch. Nice. That's a big boy. Holy sugar foot. Oof. 
Fighter Cat 2. Oh my god. Oh my god. Um. Oh, sorry. I think I think I, I can't help myself, guys. God, that just reminded me of watch of watching a family of geese cross a road for some reason. That was awesome. All right. All right. Back to seriousness, though. Let's, let's go. Let's go. Oh, my God. Look at the map. Like, and, I, and the draw distance is amazing now, too, right? Like, look at the mist and stuff, the clouds. Get him, Swift Wind. You show him the wrong end of the beat, pal. <laughs> Bring that ring. Oh, my God. Is the bed the mount? Oh my god, that's awesome if it is. Oh my god, that just cracked me right up. Oh, hello, Mr. Torgal. Oh, who needs the scritches? Yeah, you need the scritches. So Wook Lamott is taking care of that thing. See, and these always remind me of Otiugs. The uh Uout reminds me of uh Otiug from uh D D. Or Neo Otiug, whatever you want to call him. Get to work, Alice. Say, hey, you lazy prick. Okay, so maybe Oops. I think I'm gonna buy some food from the uh, the market board. I'm 
hungry ocelot my ass. How about you eat some of my feathers, bitch? Oh, did that hurt? Oh, no. Oh, you want a little SDF1 action? Oh. Yeah, I... I thought the, uh... thought the stuff I had was, uh... Like the, the heart chocolate, I thought. I thought that was gonna... Give me the three percent or whatever, but yeah, I'll have to. Uh, I'll have to go to town and buy some, I guess, of level food. Zamba dum dum. Oh, hello. How are you? Wow. You are one gorgeous fella. Oh, that guy kind of looks like, that, this dude looks like a boss. Right before the first boss pull. Okay, good, good to know, brother. Ah, you were a step ahead of us. Well, yeah, I'm the warrior of light. Like, I mean, come on, not to toot my own horn, but this must be the likeness of Ixiaha. Ixai. Ixai. Ahanu, Ahanu, deity of the harvest. No primals. Their sacred images are woven with reeds. I was half expecting a flying whale. Sorry, I gotta select it, guys. I gotta select it. <laughs> a whale? Why a whale of all things? Anyway, it said that Kixai where it was uh, here was worshipped on another continent. This ancient faith was what uh, was then brought to Toral by the first Anu Anu. So maybe the Vanu Vanu and Hanu Hanu were actually like regionally close together at one point. Hanu migrated here from another comp. Then mayhap the two do share a common ancestor. This is all very fascinating, but shouldn't we be getting back to? Linihanu. They'll want to know the path is safe for the procession. Right. And I need to ride on the float. I'll run ahead and tell him we've done we're done here. Meanwhile, in our canoe. <laughs> Not sure we heard you right, old man. Why don't you say that again? As many times as you'd like. The Third Promise tasked me with repairing this float, and I'll not relinquish it to an uncultured brute like you. Oh, shit. Much less one that can't even manage a simple greeting. We wanted to handle this in a civilized way, but we're more than willing to <laughs> kill you. Wow. We have a two-headed problem. Yes, 
Please hurry. Ha 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 ha! She's on her way back already? Stand back, Wukevu! I will protect the float! Oh, Linu Hanu, buddy. <laughs> Are you trying to be brave, little bird? I could never have repaired the float alone. Not properly. But thanks to Wuklamat and her friends, we can hold Ihihana again. This asshole hurts him. This I'm going to hate Square treasure. Enix a lot. And as festival leader, I would die to protect it. And I mean that just because I will be very angry. <laughs> I don't actually hate Square. I won't hate Square Enix. I will just hate. Uh, very well. If that's what you want. my girl look at that I put everything into that blow oh darling he's got a little more practice I think good the better for you to understand the gulf between us. But you need more lessons. We'll carve them into your mangy hide until you cry and beg forgiveness. Kill his taco trasher. The was to steal the float and take the credit. The so-called blessed siblings are nothing but cheats. <laughs> Your scorn is sweet music. Come, weaklings. We'll crush you each in turn. Or all together, if you like. Yourself, chosen one. If you fight in earnest, this will end in a massacre. What's more, we have word that our other prospect is on the verge of success. Hmm. Then it would be foolish to expend effort sweating nuts. Or oh, you asshole. <laughs> Lucky for you. Eh. I see my mook still clings to that loathsome hope. Yeah. Talk to us, third promise. You're not dying, are you? <laughs> <laughs> It'll take more than that to kill me. That's right. So, are we having this festival or not? Yeah. <laughs> yes, we, yes, we are. Oh my god. Wow. All right, well, first, first rile up of the MSQ achieved. Thank you for coming to our rescue. I tried to protect the float, but against that two head, I may as well have not been there at all, but hey, dude, hey. Nonsense. You stood your ground and brought us 
bought us the time we needed to make it back. You were incredibly brave. Exactly what... Wakewu wishes to spread word that the festival will soon be held. That exciting interlude over. You'll be pleased to know that my repairs are finished. Oh, that's looking good, too. Before we commence the festival, however, it would be a courtesy to inform the villagers that Ileana will be held after all. Go forth, but do not forget your greetings. At this stage, I should hope you the reminder is unnecessary. Oh, shit. Oh, Kelly. See, I remember. Thanks for saying that, Wook. <laughs> oh, shit. Chat, say... Awesome. Uh, <laughs> oh yeah. This is this is the Final Fantasy 14 I wanted. God, so very, so very reminiscent of uh, of uh, the dwarven greeting. Uh, it's not tally ho, but uh, shit. I know, I know, you know what it is, Ash, and you bugger. What the float is fixed? Seven hundred fifty-six. Oh. That sucks. Lolly ho, that's it. The float is fixed. Our fallen friends would be glad to know that Ilhana will soon be underway. They would have wanted us to honor them with celebration. Not let not let their loss deter us from it. I must go and enjoy the festival. For those who no longer can. 100%, brother. Boop, 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 boop. Ha <laughs> ha. Weep, weep. Fucking, I love that so much. Oh, ho, can I? Festival is about to begin. What do you expect me to say? Besides, of course I'll be there. Cleaning up the storm's aftermath may have been hard on us all, but the lifting of wings is tradition and a joyous one at that. Yeah, very Manderville. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like Manderville meets Lally Ho in a in a in a way. I don't sit here brooding my days away. Give me a moment to get ready. Uh, hello, Boo. Oh, goodness. Oh, goodness. It's a Boo. Hi. How you doing, sweetheart? <laughs> yeah. Oh, my goodness. Oh, wow. That was gorgeous. Yeah, you're gonna flop on the keyboard. Make things difficult for dad, are you? Beep, 
Do 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 do. Oh, there you are. <laughs> oh, Kelly. Thank you for letting me know. I would very much like to attend the festival, but the repairs should be finished as soon as possible. What to do? What to do? Yeah, that's right. Hey, Moon, you see that? You're on the internets and stuff. And he's like, I don't care. Scritch my ears, Dad. <laughs> oh my goodness, you're such a big suck. Okay. Boop, 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 boop. Oh, not the glasses, you bugger. I know, I know there was a disturbance in the forest. Dad cleaned his glasses. And now they must, and now they must be tarnished anew. Pleased to hear the festival is going ahead, I imagine. Sure were, buddy. That is well. Once your friends return, the lifting of wings can begin at last. Yeah. My whiskers need attention. Yeah, that's right. Great work. Ikihana is a prayer for bountiful harvest, but this is not its only meaning. It is also an exchange of pledges between rider and bearers, a commitment to a long and fruitful friendship. Awesome. Their writing is so good. Listen well, friends. The personage we bear today is Wook Lamat, the savior of our beloved festival. Let your shoulders burn or your feathers fall out, but do not even think of dropping her. <laughs> <laughs> Ready and <laughs> I can get used to this. I love her voice. Since you were here, Gulu Jaja. Oh, oh my God. 
Right. We've enough bearers now. Onwards to Kozaduaki! <laughs> that cat's rule and dog's rule. Oh, definitely. Oh, the big purse, eh? Well. Hey? For you are about to bear witness to the true glory of Ihihana. Wow. This is freaking cool. draws upon our life force, concentrating and yes, amplifying sir. the energy. Oh, listen to that music. Yes, you say on energy and expels it in a great burst, where it showers down upon the land to replenish its vital currents. Oh, wow. such a thing was even possible Of course I'm muted. Uh, thank you once again, Mr. Ashen. Uh, yeah, I'm going to take a very, very quick uh, bio break uh, and grab a top up from a drink. I want to thank everyone who's popped in and hanging out tonight uh, for this amazing MSQ. And uh, I don't know what I was expecting. I know it wasn't this, but I'm glad it's this so far. Um, in a very short amount of time, I have a couple of our competitors that I extremely loathe, uh, which is a good thing. Um, and I just have a feeling it's going to get a lot worse. Uh, <laughs> Uh, but that being said, I will be right back, folks. 
uh, while you're up, can you grab me a nice salmon roll with ginger and some wasabi? Oh, dude. Man, I'd have to go to a restaurant to grab that for you, but if that's your desire, Ash, and I mean, come on, brother. All right, my man, I will, uh, and everyone else in chat, I will be right back. Uh, and we're going to continue this because this is absolutely amazing. Thanks for hanging in there, folks. Back. Oops, wrong one. Thank you, Ashen. Should I have left the float behind like that? I was so excited to see the reeds. Nothing to worry yourself over. My brethren have been swept up by festival fever. Last I saw, they were taking turns at carrying poles on the way back to the village. <laughs> Please, feel free to look over the fields and enjoy the sight of what you have accomplished. Oh, and you being silly, Felix. Two hundred and ninety. Oh, well, that's that's quite a bit better than the last post. Some of them still look a bit sickly. I imagine even the harvest magic has its limits. If the Hanu continue their festival tradition year after year, though, the entire field should eventually recover. Where does that leave us with the feet then? You've got nothing to fear on that account. Awesome. Our situation could never have resolved itself. The revival of even a single reed would have served to demonstrate your commitment to the task. That you recognize the nature of the float 
and found a near perfect solution in Ihihana proves your dedication. What's more, I don't think I've seen the festival produce such impressive results since I was a mere chirper. A chirper? Awesome. Uh, of course they're a we chirper. Have been lax in maintaining the float, diluting its magic and reducing Ihihana to hollow theater. I was delayed by an unpleasant encounter, but it seems I arrived at a good time. <laughs> Ooh, what was that? or something whoa didn't mean to fart by you <laughs> oh, isn't that wonderful what you just pour in some mystery liquid and problem solved stagnant ether was to blame for the reed's poor condition ah. I assume that was an alchemical concoction which enhances ethereal conductivity. Ah, nice. It utilized the flowing water as an ethereal current, thereby promoting the transfer of life energies. Ha <laughs> ha A method I could not have devised without the education I received at the studium and the cooperation of my Archon allies. Oh, so is that who... Tancred and, and Arianji oh, supporting? Oh! You see, Lamachi, this is why we need to embrace foreign knowledge and technology. Ho, 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 ho! Now it makes sense. Employed appropriately, they make light work of what would otherwise be arduous labor. There's no need to lug around heavy floats. No, but there I'm going to disagree with their you there Kona. But that's still well, very important. You always were the clever one, brother. And they and it's not the problem that it's heavy cuz I mean look at the size of those fucking hanu hanu like there, there's more importance to it than Your just that. Was no less effective, Wuklamart. It achieved the same result. Yeah, it's just he added. Indeed, it did. And you enjoyed the festival, yes? Of course, we did. I did. It was so much fun. Exactly, Ashen. Having visited your village, and it before, also ended up, and it I keeps you connected to the it. land too. As it turns out, I knew very little about the reeds, about Ihihana. With all I've learned this time, I feel as though I've really come to know the Hanu. Awesome. She is such I a like sweetheart. I like you even more now than I did before. <laughs> the feeling is mutual. And it's not just you who had a lot to learn either. I'll never look at our float the same way again. Yeah, the can have multiple solutions. One, 100% action. Come forth and claim your stone. And, 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 and in folk, and, and in fact, both of them together would just would just serve even better outcome, right? Ah, her smile cracks me up. I love it. So this is what they look like. Go on, set it in the tablet. <laughs> A 
perfect fit. That leaves six more. And on to the next. Not even a moment of celebration. That's Kona for you. A third promise? You must join us for Ikikana next season. <laughs> done and done, buddy. Yes, dawn servant, of course. Right. It's back to Tulihola for now. Thank you for having us. I look forward to seeing you all again. <laughs> These are interesting times indeed. The concoction was brewed by Kona himself. It's a test vial, but it should contain the same reagents. Good work. We'll use whatever we must to win. For win we must. Ah, uh, so... My journey was just started, and I've already met so many wonderful people. Wokivu, for one. He's a bit eccentric, but everyone can stand to be as respectful of other cultures as he is. And Linu Hanu. It warmed my heart to see him honor his departed friend, Ihihana, and to help others do the same. And awesome, Ashen. I can't help but feel like same thing of who else I'll meet over the course of the contest. Come, let's head back to the Valley of Tai. Instead of push go, puff go. <laughs>
Gotcha. Time to start hunting for a new gland for McCollin and oh yeah, brother. Tacos help store. <laughs> Just like that, we found an elector and won our first keystone. I knew I was right to trust your instincts. Come on, let's keep things moving and march onwards to Kapaka. Chances are good we'll find an elector there as well. Before we do anything, however, we should see what your opp uh, opportunistic Pelu friend has to say. Hello, is uh, waiting your questions. I have been waiting for what feels like days and eaten enough of Brokubu's tacos to feed an army. What is it you'd like to know? Our main concern was confirming the state of the road ahead. As I recall, to reach Urkopaka, uh, we depart from the Arch of the Dawn. Then take the road west at the first fork. 
should we be wary of anything along the way? That is indeed a way to Kapaka after the damage wrought by the recent downpour. However, they'll be doing more stumbling than walking. But do take heart. When it comes to rugged terrain, we have a most dependable solution available. Come with me. the alpacas yeah may I introduce you to our most dependable companion the alpaca hi buddy <laughs> These animals can traverse Urkapaka's steep mountain trails as if they were gentle fields, all while carrying heavy loads. Our merchants would be lost without them. So they fill much the same niche as our chocobos back home. You don't have alpacas in Eorzea? Alpacas are native to Yakturul. Erzia has its chocobos, and the eastern lands have their horses. Why go to the trouble of breeding another pack beast in a place which ill suits its qualities, where it is not needed anyway? Hmm. But must we ride these little monsters? <laughs> I get the impression you aren't fond of alpacas. When I was small, and being a bit naughty, I went around pulling on their wool. One of them spat on me, and it was the foulest stench you could imagine. Haha, I see. What do they like to ride? Alpacas bred as mounts are inquisitive and docile. Even those without experience find them easy to handle. But are really doing this then? So, was my information useful to you? I... Yes, very helpful. It wasn't what... Even if it wasn't what I wanted to hear. Good, I'll take my payment now. Ha ha ha! You want me to pay you? I guess I should have expected as much from a Pelu merchant. Merchant, let me see what I have on me. Pelu Pelu valued the act of spreading joy through trade, as you should know. They take pride in making deals that benef benefit both parties. Here you go, a fair price for your fair advice. Yes, I made a trade with the third promise herself. My friends will never believe this. I shall be on my way now. I wish you safe travels. Off you go then, and thank you. I better not get spit on again. You brought that on yourself. Remain calm and gentle, and so will they. I 
I'm still not happy about this. But if we need to ride alpacas to reach our, our, our alpaca, then that's what we'll do. <laughs> to rally wow. poets of your sang of a mountain that would stand tall even should all other lands sink beneath the sea. Indomitable and eternal, it arises from Urkopatia. The hundred peaks of time. Oh. Of all the beasts which crawl and fly, only the legendary Valikarmanda could hope to disturb the summit's serene majesty. Yet, with that flying calamity imprisoned by the Dawn Serpent, what great feat remains for those who would claim the throne? Ah. So this is Urkopacha. I've never actually been here before. <sighs> the air is so crisp and clear. Mountains everywhere you look. That one massive peak in particular has quite the presence. It puts me in mind of Som Al. Yeah. That is Warkor Sormor, the tallest mountain in Yokturan. Its sheer height makes it an imposing climb. But there are other reasons the ambitious keep their distance. <laughs> oh? Do tell. <sighs> Where to begin? Excuse me, but you're Wuk Lamat, are you not? I, I hadn't thought to encounter one of the Dawn's promise here of all places. Introduce myself. I am Bolno, a weaver by trade. Well met, Bolno. We're on our way to Watchun Pelo. Watchun Pelo. Oh, truly, <laughs> I've just come from there, as it happens. I'd ask the Pelu Pelu who sell me their wool to give me a tour of their alpaca ranch. The head rancher and I shared a bottle of mezcal while he explained the finer points geez. of wool production. Mezcal? Is that a local beverage? It's an Urkopacha specialty. A spirit made from distilled agave heart juice. And it'll knock you on yes, your ass. And it must have done wonders for my mood, for I tripled my usual order of alpaca wool. <laughs> so it wasn't a bad deal in the end. <laughs> ah, but listen to me, boring you with my tedious stories. I, I will leave you before you are lulled to sleep. Uh, goodbye and safe travels. Ah. Oh, silly me. I almost forgot to say the thing I actually wanted to say. Peace for Tural. I agree with your vision, Third Promise. You have my support in your bid for the throne. Freaking awesome. I gather from his tale we would be foolish to underestimate Pelu Pelu merchants. Yes, they do more than run the markets in Tuliola. Pelu Pelu peddlers can be found everywhere in Turat, traveling from place to place on their sturdy alpacas. <laughs> they are effusive and engaging speakers. 
And many's the customer who's been talked into spending more than they bargained for. <laughs> huh. They won't find this customer so easily charmed. Whatever, you're probably just like a Stinian. Oh God, can you imagine a Stinian with a Pelu Pelu? Watching Pelu's down the path, off the main road. Don't get lost. It's right there. Ah. <sighs> Freaking awesome. Oh, shit. Gotta turn the camera back on. Alright. Uh, uh, uh. Is it? Watching Pelu, home of the Pelu Pelu. Uklamat should have arrived before us. That's not good. You've come all the way to the right of succession. Oh, so this means I'm exchanging words with the future Dawn servant. Please, the, the outcome is far from decided, but it is a possibility. How fortunate, then, that I deal in cloaks woven from especially luxurious alpaca wool. Such a garment would look magnificent when draped over the shoulders of a budding ruler. And our nation's ruler should dress her best for her adorned people, yes? Finery of our finest lady, that's right. Come, third promise, well-stocked shelves are but a few steps away. Oh my god. Finest lady? <laughs> I like the sound of that. Oh my god, she is a Stinian part too. Alright, I suppose a quick look wouldn't hurt. Ahem. What did we just talk about? Erinville, when did you... Ah, Sedona from far off Zaktoral. Northern winters are bitterly cold affairs, I'm told. I cannot imagine how you survived them without a lovely warm cloak of quality alpaca wool. No, thank you. I am not in need of new clothes at the moment, and neither is the third promise. Perhaps another time. Of course, of course, my shop door is always open. <laughs> You were saying something about not being easily charmed. I was just... Oh. As I mentioned previously, the Pelu, Pelu, uh, the Pelu people live for bringing happiness through trade. They won't cheat you or sell you defective goods. They will, however, disarm you with their deft turns of phrase, and unwitting customers like Muk Lamont fall prey to this affable approach time and time again. Their only recourse course is a clear, firm refusal. They won't pursue the matter should you make your distressed disinterest plain. A valuable insight into the minds of the Pelu Pelu. Let us all take Aaronville's words of caution to heart. <laughs> oh, 
Oh God, I, I really, I hope we run into a Stinian here. I really do. Woo woo! Level 91. Wooklamat is ready to, uh, Smart. Yeah, no, I know, I know, I but I want to, I want to see a Stinian in this village and just like wearing every ridiculous outfit. The impressive ding of yours. <laughs> yes, man. Wiglamad is ready to search out the Dawn Servant Selector. Not my finest moment, I'll admit. But now that we're here, let's do what we can to do we get came to do find the elector I mean to propose a strategy then trial LSA and I will speak with the merchants book Lamont you and Airville might try approaching travelers and passers-by rune pray investigate any of the other establishments which catch your eye should we learn odd of use let us relay it to the third promise First things first. Servant selector. Oh, I thought you were a new face in town, here for the right of succession. I take it, me, I don't much care who sits on the throne so long as they keep Terrell peaceful. People tend to people tend not to be in the mood to relax and sip our excellent mescal once arrows and spears start flying. You know what I mean? Speaking of which, would you like a cup? Joy shared is a joy doubled, I say. No thanks, Tiny. Oh, right, yes. You were asking me about the Elector business. Being but freshly returned from my trading route, I've heard that there's a contest afoot, but not much else. Our head ledger, Toddly, could probably tell you more about it. Do -do 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 -do. An alpaca dude. Okay, cool. Oh, yes, I've heard about the right of succession. They're looking to put a new ruler on the throne, eh? Personally, I'm rooting for Zoral Jaw. First promise wins, he'll look to expand our sphere of influence. That means access to more resources and more customers. Thousands call them, potentially. So many new trading opportunities to spread happiness far and wide. Others have been coming around to my way of thinking, so I've begun crafting goods inspired by the resilient sun. Would you care to purchase something? No, nope, no, I would not. Very well. You said you wanted to know about the Elector. I could help you, but I won't. Can't tell you. I can tell you're no supporter of Sor Sorrel Jaw or its policies. Yeah, well, how about I get Swiftwind to give you a 
fucking swift kick to the arse. I digress. That might that might have been a little aggressive. I apologize. Hello there. I'm Mablu. You have any questions for me? Sorry, I don't know about any electors. You should take a moment to see how prized alpacas before you leave, though. Oh, but I'm sure you admire them from a respectable distance. Get too close and our nervous darlings may be tempted to spit on you. That stuff stinks. It happened to a visiting buyer not long ago. Tobu, that's the head rancher. So mad at me for not giving a proper warning. No one makes a mistake about Tobel noticing. He knows everything that happens on this range. Really? Sorry, folks. Just one second here.
Sorry about that, folks. Car. Cheesecake drizzle caramel. <laughs> oh man, I wish I'd be uh I'd be down for that, good sir. You really watch yourself around these silver tongued peddlers. I almost bought a bottle of mezcal and a stack of blankets, and then there was this enchanting ornament ornament. Anyway, I did manage to learn that Tobu is the man to talk to about the contest. Now, if only they'd share where this head ledger of theirs is to be found. Really? It's also the head rancher. Well, the Apaka Ranch is not far from here. I say we pay it a visit before the others return. Here's a lot of alpacas. Still, we know the head ledger could be here somewhere. I can't let fear deter me. No, no, not what, not to say that I'm scared. Of course, of course not, darling. <laughs> Excuse me, is one of these workers Tobel? Tobel, oh yes, he likes to mingle with the ranch hands and keep an eye on things. I can't tell you which one he is though. You can't? This part of the contest. All I can say is Tobel often mentions his favorite pungent subject. He also can't resist a profitable trade. Though who among us could, uh, although who among us could? Am I right? Still, if you bring him a very good deal, he might let his identity slip. Yes, so it's like a game. Easy enough. All I have to do is offer Tobel deal he he can't ignore. No problem at all. Well, maybe one problem. I don't think my purse is deep enough to pay everyone we think might be Tobel. Let's ask some questions first to narrow down the field. Oh my god, this is just crazy. Great, we can meet back here to share our impressions. We just gotta find the guy who smells like, who stinks like alpaca. It's 
thing. Well, obviously, I'm not totally bubbly. I mean, I mean, oops, I shouldn't have said that. You're meant to find it for yourself who totally is. Uh, or if an elector is even the village at all. Good luck. Ah, visitor from across the salt, if I'm not mistaken. He won. The alpacas will spit if you startle them. Suggest you keep your movements slow and deliberate. Huh? Right, totally. And yes, that's me. Excellent work from the third promise and her entourage. Sharp instincts. Shall we consent commence the rate of succession then? totally ha <laughs> ha well maybe i am yeah so half eaten bile exactly ash and exactly all i will say is that this village none of you reared more a pack is than i well it's gonna be you dude boop, 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 boop. I see we're both done in, with our interrogations. So who do you think it is? I have my suspicions, but let's hear your pick. Boastful, dude. A loud, boastful fellow? I suppose he could be totally. Only one way to find out. Nothing would make me happier than knowing your identity. So how about we make a deal and you tell me the truth? I have money. Ha <laughs> ha, then I agree to your trade. Done and done. As for my part of the bargain, I am not Tobley, not the head ledger, and not the head rancher, just a humble ranch hand. Not him. Damn it, Rune. I trusted you. Well, yeah, hey, I'm sorry. I just... That coin could have bought me 300 gourmet tacos. Oh, I'll buy you some tacos. No, I can't let this taco tragedy distract me from what matters most. We need to determine which one is Tobley. Uh, yeah, let's go for the diligent one then. Oh, the workers are so intent on stable chores. I had my eye on that one too. Time to rip the mask off your mystery ranch hand, so to speak. We know it's you, Tobley, and to prove it, I propose a deal. A generous sum of coin for your confirmation for your true identity. An offer I gladly accept. As you have correctly guessed, I am indeed Tobley, head ledger of Walk, Walk and Pello. Watch and Pello and head rancher of the family ranch. I am also one of the Galul Jaja's chosen electors. Aha! In a place featured in Tulialala saga, just as we thought. Though it took more coin than I would have liked to have <laughs> to know for certain. She 
found you out fair and square, Toby. I'm glad she did. Would have been a pity had her bid ended here. Deducing the Don Servant's elector was the first step of defeat. Too simple a task for this aspiring ruler, eh? <laughs> right. Not hard at all. The Rolja. I am told the head ledger, Tobli, is to be found here. You have to guess which one of us is Tobli. That's part of the test. Without even asking a single question. Very impressive indeed. Without a musing prologue out of the way, we can proceed to the actual challenge. Per the Don Servant's instructions, I was free to devise any manner of feat. I considered the number of possibilities in the tent column. But I think I have a good one. Oh, excellent tonics. It's good to see you, my friend, and thank you so much for the lurk, my friend. You must go forth and capture for me an alpaca. <laughs> ah! While I've not had the best experiences with alpacas, aren't they generally docile creatures? That doesn't sound like much of a challenge. <laughs> Bring out the example! Bring out the example. I love it. This is a special kind of alpaca. Would you please approach the animal, Third Promise? Ah. Uh. Who? Me? Well, it should stay calm if I stay calm, right? That's what Aaronville said. Oh, oh, oh. Extremely curious and extremely cowardly. Press your luck when they're frightened, and you'll get a face full of spit, as you've all just witnessed. We now have a new weapon! Has an awful stench, their expectoration. The globs contain half digested food, you see, making it an effective deterrent against perceived threats. Oh! Wild Valley breed like this one are especially timid, and can therefore be quick to lash out. <laughs> They're also especially hardy. They're also especially hardy. Indeed. We take the rugged wild alpacas and breed them with our gentle domesticated stock. This produces the strong but beatable pack animals prized by our traveling merchants. Oh my god. 
<laughs> That's all well and good, but did I need to bathe an alpaca spit for you to make your point? Well. So, the task is to catch a wild alpaca. That is correct. But be warned that it is a feat easier said than done. I suggest you prepare well before you enter the valley where the creatures dwell. I do like this, dude. And by you, I mean the claimants only. Allies are not permitted to assist with the catching. The alpacas will help me judge which of you is worthy of receiving a keystone. So I'm to chase down a fluffy, spitting demon, and that <laughs> somehow proves I'm fit to rule? <laughs> well, yeah. As I said, the Dawn Servant granted me the freedom to decide my challenge. And when you reach the end of the ride, I dare say you will understand why I chose what I chose. Fair enough, my man. Very well. This won't take long. Wait! Didn't I warn you this was easier said than done? There are preparations to be made, factors to consider. A beast is a beast. All yield to strength. Interesting. So far, this experience has done absolutely nothing to improve my opinion of alpacas. <laughs> but that doesn't mean I can't do this. Revolting spit aside, they're just another animal. <laughs> me are you all right or clamart we thought we heard you scream oh and you stink the third promise does not scream it was more of a startled yelp it was oh my god you are such a sweetheart oh my god a startled yelp whatever uh scream in other words a scream, in other words. <laughs> <clears throat> Did you find the Elector? Yeah. Oh, we certainly did. Freaking awesome. All right, folks, just bear with me a second here. I am going to take a very quick bio break, get a top up from a drink, and we will continue on with this amazing MSQ. It is so good. I, uh, I like that they've, like, like once again, it's like they've interlaced. There's this light veneer around stuff, and that's all and well and good but there there is there's a lot of dark underlying this so far um and i'm absolutely loving it uh i will be right back folks i want to thank everyone for hanging out with the channel please remember to hit that follow fun way uh, to world build a new yeah one yeah world build a new content world build uh, an entire new storyline right um, 
I will be right back, folks, and I love y'all. Uh, please hit the follow button if you've not done so already. And I'll be right back. Thanks for hanging in there, folks. I am back. Uh, uh, I had to go and wash that nasty stuff off my face. I think I got all of it. But would you mind taking a sniff of me just to make sure the stench has ruined my sense of smell? Hey, I saw that look. Wishes to discuss the feet of gold. As Wuklamat helped demonstrate, the Valley Alpaca are wary of people. Getting close enough to catch one will not be an easy task. You might have warned me about that earlier. I have enough trouble with tame alpacas. How do you expect me to wrangle a wild one? With the proper saddle, we infuse the leather with a relaxing scent that soothes the spinning beast. The spinning beast. Wonderful. Give me one of those then. That's going to cost you, darling. 
Have you perhaps forgotten we are a clan of merchants? If you want a taming saddle, then you'll need to find a saddler and make them an offer. They don't come cheap, of course. Crafting a saddle will cost you the equivalent of 10 Pell in the thousands column. Ah! You mean 10,000 Pell? I don't have that kind of coin. Burning to kill it comes around a million or so. Yeah, but if we all pitch in. No, no. This is my feat to accomplish. I wouldn't feel right about having others pay the cost. I'll find the money somehow. In that case... Basket of wool is worth the sum you paid me earlier. One pal in the hundreds column. Beginning with the wool, you can trade for every ever more valuable goods. Now you have something suitable to bargain with for the saddle. That's a nice gesture. But you think I can turn 100 pal into a million? That's 10,000 times more. No, no, you only got to get it to 10,000 pal. We need 10,000 pal, not a million. Okay, good, 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 good. I'm glad I heard that right. So we're looking at 100 times more. Oh, right. I panicked and I got it confused with Alphano's million gill. I am not sure about this trading idea. You're almost talked into buying a cloak you couldn't need more mere moments after you arrived. But I just... God, I hate it when you are right. And let me help you with your deal making. Oh, hello again. Uh, uh Ah, Blue. I work here as a ranch hand, but I've also learned a lot about the peddler profession. It's all right if I aid them now, yes? I guided the claimants towards the first step of the feat, like you asked. As long as the look will... Wook Lamont goes alone to capture her alpaca. She is free to accept assistance from whoever she likes. But hey, let's see about getting you that saddle then, third promise. I don't know why you made your offer, but I could use an ally with a beak for bargains. Welcome aboard, Mablu. A beak for bargains. Love it. Should the rest of us stay per behind, perhaps? Maybe easier to haggle over prices without so many voices chiming in. Yeah, stay here and pitch in with the ranch work. Madly gone, I'll need extra hands to tend to the alpacas. Gladly, although Rune, I think you should go with Wook Lamont. You've seen markets and bazaars the world over. And surely have sage advice to share. In that case, you should also hold on to the alpaca wool. If it's misplaced or soiled in some way, you'll have nothing to bargain with. It's got the free. Oh, we're. Oh my god, where do you pick up the free gear set? Or, or maybe I should hold off on that. Oh, my God. We'll lead you to it. Awesome. Okay, brother. 
as if I do such a thing. But I'll leave the wool with the rune anyway. The better to keep my hands free. To begin, I suggest we try trading the wool to Havel. Hadley the Saddler. He won't agree to the deal, of course, but it'll give us an idea of how much he'll accept for his wares. something I can do for you. We've come to bargain. I need one of your special taming saddles to catch a wild alpaca. Get me 690. Nice. Saddle, is it? How will you be paying for it? With this fine basket of fine alpaca wool. What use does a saddle maker have for wool? Besides, this would barely cover the cost of a single trap buckle. Offer me something I actually want. And what might that be? Mezcal. I like to nurse a cup at day's end while I inspect my finished work. Bring me a jug of quality stuff and you got yourself a deal. This bodes well for us. Third promise. Such mezcal can be had for only five bell and thousands column. Hold on, hold on. You say third promise? Then my offer's changed. This saddle's gonna cost you a jug of premium mezcal, aged three years at least. Ah, oh, three years? Stuff is valued at 10,000 pell or more. Why have you doubled the price? Because I must support the man of ambition who will see my business prosper. Sir Al Job will go to war. This cavalry will need saddles. Lots of saddles. Wow. It's nothing personal, Third Promise, but I won't sell you my craft or anything less than my asking price. All right, Jackass. It's all right. We got it. We got it. can't say that I blame him. I am known for championing peace, and peace is unlikely to bring him more customers. Those of our grandparents' generation remember the dark days when the clans were at war. Many of these fellow pray for your victory, Wook Lamont. The younger ones, though, to them, strife and bloodshed are as children's stories. They think themselves safe from these horrors and take the peace we now enjoy for granted. Wow, it's kind of like a reflection of the current day world. Still, others are unsatisfied with this quiet prosperity and crave the future the second promise envisioned. They become obsessed with innovations like the dirigibles that made trade swift and easy. Then you have those like Hadley, convinced that the first promise plans for conquest will afford them opportunities for great profit. Of 
But what about you, Mablu? Aren't you of the younger generation? At least a year or two younger than me, I'd say. Oh, I was raised on the old tales. I've memorized the accounts of what was, what it was like when Yak Gui ruled our village. That's why I offered to help. I want you to become Dawn Servant. Keep our nation from going back to the way it was. Well then, I guess I'd better make sure I win the contest. The type of mezcal the saddle maker wants is so very expensive. Weren't we expecting the need uh, 10,000 pelts from the outset? Nothing's changed. We'll just need to get on with it. Bingo, bango. Our folks just topping up the drink here. I may not have a head for a trade or stomach for alpacas, but I won't give up with the piece of Tililal on the line. And neither will I. We will make you Dawn Servant. Aiming for the 10,000 Pell Jug right away will only bring us failure and frustration. Let's try first exchanging the wool for anything even a touch more valuable. Trick is to find someone who needs alpaca wool and is willing to trade at a loss to acquire it. Someone who supports your bid for the throne, for instance. Of course, the weaver. Bullnock was his name, I believe. He went out of his way. They agreed with my vision, and he was here to buy wool. I think I remember the direction he was going, but for now, let's head back to that road where we first met him. This is the spot. After Bullnock talked to us, he walked off to the south. Then he was probably heading to Ekuvlo's Inn. Most visitors to Wakapula and up staying there. Let's go and check, shall we? Can I have that basket, Rune? Thanks. Now let's see what we can if we can turn a profit. Old duck, I'm glad we found you. 
Are you interested in making a trade? I promise you, he wants to do business with me. I didn't ask what this is all about. I see. So the goal is to turn the basket of wool into a jug of three-year-old premium mezcal. And allow me to invest in your efforts. Peace in Terrell is what allows me to cross freely into the lands of my suppliers. Naturally, I would prefer that one pledge to preserve the peace win the throne. Thus do I humbly offer you this wool poncho, a small token that I pray contributes to your victory. Oh, that's fine craftsmanship. A garment like that would easily fetch five, five pal in the fat, in the hundreds column. That's very generous, Bullock. Thank you. I promise I won't let you down. I have every faith in you, Third Promise. May fortune bless your future dealings. I can't believe you could triple your investment with your first deal. We're off to a spectacular start. Only because Rune remembered our weaver friend. All I did was hand over the wool. That's not true. The connections you build with people are vital. This is one of the most fundamental precepts of trading. One which you've instinctively mastered. Y you think so? I know so. Now let's take our 500 pal poncho and trade it for something even more valuable. Yeah, Rune, you take the poncho. If I lost it somehow, Aaronville would never let me hear the end of it. All set, our next deal is waiting to be found. Ha ha ha. Excellent trade. Ha 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 ha. Leveraging connections is sound strategy, but we should also consider supply and demand. Individual in urgent need of a good poncho will offer more than a merchant simply looking to stock the shelves. That makes sense, but how do we know if someone needs a poncho? They aren't wearing one? We have a fellow's sense of style. <laughs> they aren't wearing one? I don't know. That's the obvious answer, isn't it? We look for a person without a poncho and hope they're eager to buy ours. Yes, there you go. We find the demand for our supply. So where should we begin our search for prospective buyers? There are many numbers of places we could do worse than starting right here at the end. There might be interested travelers. Oh, that guy looks pretty cold right there. Well, or he's just being aggressive. <laughs> hmm. Who needs a poncho? A lot of Mamulja hardly wear anything to begin with. Those are probably Landsguard or Sellsorts, Mamulja, who a soldier for a living, prefer not to wear much above the waist. Hampers their movement. 
so even if they have better soldiers, Amulja carrying arms can be struck off the list. This guy. Let's see. No coat or cloak. But also no weapon. He we might have a winner. Oh dear friend. You're not a mercenary by trade, right? I was curious about your bold choice of dress. Or lack thereof. Oh, it's no choice of mine, believe me. I was attacked by beasts on the way here and barely escaped with my scales intact. Oh, it's not so lucky. I'm actually a tool maker from Tuli Lol. He's dressed quite smartly. All the better to show the Pelu I'm a man that takes pride in his appearance. Therefore, his work as well. But now look at me. Oh my god, this is awesome. Well, sir, this is your lucky day. What a splendid poncho. This would be a perfect replacement for the coat I lost. We'd be willing to part with it if you'd like to make a trade. Or one of your fine tools, perhaps. What about this hatchet? I cracked under it myself and will vouch for its quality. Blade looks shot. The haft well made. Value that one pell in the thousands column. Yeah, there we go. Oh, from 500 to 1,000. We have a deal. Wonderful. A fine garment such as this should put me on even footing with the pell any pelu merchants. Like the eponymous owner of Mipler's Meat Guard, for one. Our field hands use hatchets to harvest the... the Harvest the mate, and I thought to impress her with the tool I sold you. No matter, I have other wares to sell. But I am to have met you. Did you hear that? We've already found our next buyer. The Mipler's mate garden we go. Yes, but it's a fair distance on foot. We should take alpacas. These ones will uh, will be the con type, right? Oh yeah, yeah. There we go. Boop boop. Ha 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 ha. Freaking love this game so much. Drink here, folks. Just a second. Well done, recognizing Toolmaker as a potential customer. If you have a mind to change professions, you'd make an excellent merchant. Nice. 
Pokemon steals herself for the ride to find your next trading partner. Before we get moving, you should be the one to hold this. Oh, you're the axe wielder, darling. I think you should hold it. With that, I suppose we should hop on the alpacas. Mablu is so kindly provided. Ready to go? Let's mount up! Oh my god, this is awesome. Ha <laughs> ha, look at their little bouncy bombs. expected an alpaca mount no this is this is pretty awesome they're pretty they're pretty cute here. We made it without a single smelly incident. I sent the Palpacas back to Kuvlo's Inn. And we'll walk along the main road when we return to the village. Speaking of roads to travel, you were adopted to the Dawn Servant, weren't you? Third promise. That's how I was. And perhaps you understand. I was an orphan too, you see. Tobley took me in. He took in all the ranch hands, actually. All of them. Yes, and everyone works hard at their chores, grateful for the opportunity to repay the head ledger's generosity. Yet here I am, the only one wanting to go off and be a merchant. What's wrong with that, darling? I'm sorry, I don't know why I'm telling you this. You need to keep trading things for your saddle. You need to prepare for the feed of gold. As it's meat harvesting season, they can't have too many quality hatchets. Add that, uh, add to that Wuklamut's way with people, and we should have no trouble making a favorable deal. That's Miplu herself over there. Pass the hatchet to the third promise, and let's get to bargaining. You had that little axe for me. That little axe. Yeah, it's called a hatchet. Little miss. Fucking monstrous axe wielder. Thanks. Now let's see what we can get for it. You're a mint blue. 
owner of these fields. I have a mind to trade, if you are interested. Well, well, the third promise. I might be convinced to entertain a proposal. What do you have? Uh, on, what do you have on offer? This hatchet, forged by a seasonal seasoned artisan. Razor edge of this exceptional tool will make light work of your crops. Hmm. All the is acceptable, I suppose. I offer you a large sack of mat leaves in exchange. A sack of mat leaves is valued at one pell in the thousands column. Same price as a hatchet. This deal would bring us no closer to the mezcal. If I may, Mr. Smithlew, it's harvesting season, is it not? Is not the demand for hatchets afford them a higher value? It is indeed the season. This is why I per procured an ample batch of tools well in advance. We miss a window for demand. In that case, we'll have to fall back on connections. Give it this way. A generous deal here will put you in the third promise's good graces. Surely that's worth consider worthy of consideration. I do not wish to give advance, but I must tell you that I stand with the second promise. His innovations will improve every aspect of our lives. I believe, including farming. I'll no longer have need of hatchets. Well... I assure you that I have nothing but respect for Wiklamot. That is why I am prepared to purchase a spare hatchet at a fair price. I suppose it is fair given your reasons, but we ourselves would be no better off for the transaction. How about this then? If we were to help bring in your harvest, would you give us a better deal? As a matter of fact, I would. Till Kona reforms come about, I can always use more hands in the field. Then you can go ahead and add our labor to the bargain. Added value to tip the scales. How could I have forgotten one of the most basic rules of trading? You can rest here if you like, my blue. Rune and I have mat together. Oh no, I'm helping too. Off to the fields then. Mind you pick the healthy leaves. I'll take five good bundles from each of you. Ah, uh, look at the grass move. That's just awesome. Swift wind, let's go. This is awesome. I just, I just like the different variety of quests that are that are like you know intertwined into the to the main story quest
you brought me some leaves then. You got it, darling. There we go. An acceptable harvest. We'll see how your companions fared before I make any decisions, though. Here, I have brought our share as well. Heard me. Thank you, third promise. This is more than enough to hold up your end of the bar bargain. Heard the hiccups, folks. Now it's time to honor mine. After adding the value of your labor to the price of the hatchet, I am prepared to offer you a full sack of our highest grade mat leaves. Or mate, maybe? Premium mate. Bought at the shop one sack of those leaves would cost no less than five pound of the thousands column. Then we can bid farewell to this hatchet. I'll give it a good home. Talk of the contest aside, I'm glad we can come to a mutually agreeable trade. As am I. All the best with the rest of your harvest. Oh, no, 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 no. Red blue. What's wrong? As I was saying before, even after everything Toby's done for me, I'm planning to abandon it all and become a merchant. But then I needed your help after forgetting a basic rule of trade. How could I expect Toby to accept my decision then? Have you mentioned your plans to leave? This maybe would help you become a better trader. Look at the fabric of the hat. Sorry, it's it, it, during these cut scenes when they do the close ups. Like the fabric is just out of this world. Not exactly. I, I wanted to prove I could succeed as a peddler before I declared my intentions. I seek to follow my father's footsteps, not because he expects it of me. I want to preserve Terrell's peace. Become Don Severn happens to be the best way to do it. Ha 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 ha. You should have a life of your own choosing and I wouldn't be surprised. Totally held the same opinion. So talk to him. Yeah, because he might actually help train you as a merchant, right? Like, you know, the, the dude, yeah, the dude's a master rancher and stuff, but he's also obviously a master tradesperson, right? Like, I, I think it would, I think it would fill him with much glee to know that that's what she wanted to do. You're right. It's better to find out for sure than worry over what he might say. Thank you for the advice. But first, we have a saddle to buy. I want the success under my belt so I can be sure of my decision. What's next then? We tried to trade our tea leaves for something halfway to 10,000 pel? No, I think we're close enough now. I say we go straight for the premium mezcal. Bargain our way into double the value way. Think you can do it. 
No, but you can't. Trust me. I'll make this trade work. I admire you, Third Promise. That you're holding your own against such strong competition for the throne is inspiring. Uh, I'm really holding my own against Kona and Thoral Jaw? Yeah, in your, in your way, darling. I mean, of course I am. I am Wook Lamont, the Don's promise after all. <laughs> do -do 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 -do. Clement uh, has her eye on a jug of premium mezcal. Before we go, let me give you the mat leaves. I don't need to risk proving Erinville's point. Ready then? Our next stop is the mezcal distillery. with the man by the name of Gobbly. Even among his fellow distillers, he's regarded as a master of the craft. He knows the value of his product, so if we're to convince him to trade for twice what the leaves are worth, we're going to, be, uh, we're going to need targeted information. That means asking around and talking in the gossip. He had uh, talked to people here in the distillery room, perhaps what them on do the same thing at the village entrance. Meanwhile, I'll head to the north side and see what I can learn. Oh, yeah. Me? I'm a chef from Talia Law. I'll come here to buy Gobby's Mescal. Finest Terrell, according to my customers. Always brings out a jug during our dealings, but I can't handle the stuff too well myself. Yeah, it's pretty it's pretty hard for shit. I take small sips, not wanting to be impolite, you understand. Still end up so addled as to agree to whatever price he quotes me. It'd be nice to have uh, less uh, potent refreshments during such conversations. Else I might uh, have to seriously reconsidering uh, reconsider our arrangement. All right, all right, get the vibe, get the vibe. Gully might be a deaf hand at distilling, but he's got no sense when it comes to appearances. Rumor has it he's been invited to a palace for business negotiations. He presents himself to the court wearing his usual rumbled affair, though he'll be laughed out of some perch. Oh shit! Yeah, we should have kept the we should have kept the the cloak or the poncho. Not much I can say about Goblin. I can tell you what Goblin's been saying. The other day he was muttering about monsters prowling around agave jaws. That's a field where they gathered ingredients for the mezcal. Their presence has been has made it harder to procure said ingredients. 
that's driven up the price of his product. A boon, some might argue, but it's hard to celebrate when it affects work as it does. You can't rightly bring joy to people if you can't keep making the things they love. Boop, 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 boop. So, what did you find out? Oh, we can make use of those tidbits? Deal is as good as sealed. As for me, I found out where Gobley is working. There's a millstone at the top of the slope behind the distillery. Go on ahead and I'll bring Wook Lamont. Boop, 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 boop. There's the boy. You have business with me, sir. Why don't we talk down below so as not to distract the Apalka from Apalpaka from his work? this all about keep it brief if you would I'm a busy man we're in the market for three-year-old jug of premium mezcal assuming you have any on hand that is ah an excellent choice I must warn you though it doesn't come cheap We don't have Pell, but we can offer a sack of mat leaves in exchange. It's top grade stuff like the mezcal. No deal. Mate leaves are well and good. I don't have any use for them. No deal. Just like that. Still, I'd hate to send you away empty-handed. Why don't we sit and chat a while over a cup of mezcal? Now the real bargaining begins. Which of our cards do you want to play first? drink sure hospitality but I'm afraid I can't hold my drink I've heard one of your regular customers a whole who be gold chef is the same is not everyone can enjoy Miss Cal I wonder if you might benefit from having other refreshments to offer Something mate tea, for instance. Brewed from the finest leaves, of course. Ah, you're right. Absolutely right. I noticed a growing reluctance on the part of my Hobigo friend. I did not realize that my, I was myself was to blame. I must endeavor to be a better host. Still, even with that added value in mind. No sack of leaves is worth a mezcal you're after. Mm -hmm. 
Do we have to call the monsters causing the tr them trouble? Not yet. Keep that card up our sleeves until we need it. As I may expect you are aware, the rite of succession is currently taking place. That's why the third promise has graced us with her presence. Contest has decided the subsequent accession, ascension ceremony, and banquet will be a prestigious affair. If your mezcal were to be served there, it would bring your distillery immeasurable fame. Wait, could it be your rumored invitation to the palace to discuss that very possibility? As a matter of fact, yes. I must admit, I'm still reeling from the abruptness of it all. It would be a great honor and opportunity if I can secure the deal. Oh, I should think your exceptional mezcal would speak for itself. That said, there's no such thing as being too prepared. First impressions last. You'll want to be wearing your very best when you talk to Vuk Shun Shunsa. It would be such a shame to miss the chance of a lifetime simply for one of proper garments. That it would. Are you saying you have garments to offer something ideal for the court? We have no garments on hand, I'm afraid. But we can provide you with the next best thing. An introduction to a weaver. His name is Molnock, and his work our works are highly regarded in Tulilal. As a support of Wuk Lamont, keen observer of palace politics, he will doubtless be happy to guide you in the selection of an outfit to fit this golden occasion. That is certainly a tempting proposal and one which I should like to take full advantage. Still, the skills still aren't quite balancing. Say, what are the monsters running amok in Agave Jaws? That's a problem we could easily solve for you. Truly? I'd be most grateful for your immediate assistance. I was resigned to hiring cell swords to clear them out. Factoring in that saved expense and introduction to a trusted weaver, this is shaping up to be a sound bargain. All right, you have a deal. Yes, I knew you'd come around. Give us a moment, and Rune and I will take care of those prowling nuisances. In the meantime, I'll use time to pen an introductory letter to Bullnock. The fields you're looking are just north of Wakampello. Be safe. Wind. Let's go, buddy. Do 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 do. Whoops. Of course. Zigged when I should have zagged. That should be a Galway Jaws, just over there. The 
This will go faster if we split up. Come and find me once you finish clearing out your share of the pests. We kick ass, Swift Wind. That's right. the last one over there. the creatures I hunted with Papa. This is no challenge at all. Come on. Let's head back to the distillery. All that's left is to give Nablu a sack of leaves so she can steal the she can seal the deal. Hi boo. There's no trouble for you, it seems. Now, we just have that sack of leaves. Got it. Thank you for looking after our precious trading goods. Not a problem, my dear. Your monster problem has been resolved. Master Gobly, here are the mat leaves and written introduction to Bullnook as her greed. Deal is done here. Your jug of premium mezcal, aged three years. Please accept it with my compliments.
Yes, we finally have the mezcal. Great work, especially you, my blue. You are the one who inspired me to come this far. Whoops, and thanks. There, boo, I love you so much, but but darling, your your super your super nud nose nudges. Want to read what's happening, okay? Oh my goodness, yeah. Oh, but I'm so cute, Dad. Ah, Blue, is it? You drive a hard bargain, young peddler. I look forward to doing business with you in the future. Oh, I know. I know she is. She's being a bugger. Me, hey, aren't you? Yeah, I know. Thank you, but truth be told, I'm just a ranch hand for now. Should I ever become a proper merchant, though, I'll be back to strike more deals with you. She's like, uh, she's like, uh, she's like, uh, this expansion's Tataru. There we go. There we go. Success. You've traded 5,000 Pell sack of top grade mat boots for 10,000 Pell jug of premium as cow. Book Lamont is ready to return to Havli. Even at the palace, I don't think I've held 10,000 pound jug of anything before. My hands won't stop shaking. Here, you'd better hold on to it until we get to the saddle maker. Ha 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 ha. Oh, Wook, I love you so much. Ha ha, can you imagine we dropped it and had to start all over again? Luckily, Hadley's place is not far. We just need to head across the plaza. <laughs> Shut up, Mablu. <laughs> awesome. All right, folks, just bear with me a second here. I do need to take a quick bio break. Grab up a top up for my drink. I think I've got to set up a separate camera so that way you guys can just watch Pooh. Uh, in her uh, in her regalness we'll have to figure out a way to do that but I love you guys if you're just checking out the channel the boo cam that's right uh, if you're just checking out the channel please remember to hit that follow button and I will be right back
All right, folks, thanks for hanging in there. Now let's just cross the plaza. Oh my God. <laughs> Who is now giving me the cold backside? As I dare, I I had dared to get up from her presence. <laughs> this is it, the trade we'd been working towards. It's okay, cause now she's sitting on the the world's most expensive heated cat pad, so. I, I, I'm just, I, <laughs> oh, oh, now she's off. She's like, how dare you talk about me to other people? And now she's off to her, her place in the bedroom. I just, whatever. You still in one piece. All right, time to make our deal. Get your tools ready, Saddler. We bought your precious mascal. Wait, you actually got your hands on a jug. But you had nothing. A few measly clumps of wool. What we had was an aspiring trader with a gift for negotiation. Freaking awesome. Although I'd sooner ain't no claimant but their own job. Not go against the guiding principles of the Pelu Pelu. Trade is a fair one. I'll craft your saddle, third promise. Great! Stay and wait if you like. Have all the requisite materials, so this won't take long. Your commission is ready. Catching a wild alpaca is never a simple affair. But you'll have an easier time of it with one of my saddles. Now, if you don't mind, I have other work that needs finishing. Ah, I can taste that smooth mezcal already. Long be warm, Queen Poo. Yes. I, yes, she is, uh... She she is the the lady of the house for sure. We did it. The saddle is ours. I have a feeling this is the easy part. Look, <laughs> I think we started only with a few hundred pound basket of alpaca wool. Ma blue, you are going to be an incredible merchant. Thank you. It makes me so glad to hear you say that. Their promise. We got what we came for, so let's return to the ranch. The others will be waiting.
You've acquired the saddle then. Yes, and in no small part to, uh, uh, thanks, no small part to Malblue. Before you rush off to catch an alpaca, though, let me teach you how to saddle one. I'll bring you out one of our wildborn friends, so you can practice. I know, I know, there is something I need to learn. This is something I need to learn. <laughs> oh my god, the fear in her eyes is just awesome. Great sunken gods, I did it! There you go, darling. He hardly seemed to be bothered, much less inclined to spit. He was completely accepting a Wuklamut's touch. That's because a singular scent, the witch's saddle has been coated, alpacas find it very soothing. You know, I've never taken a good long look at <laughs> one of you before, but you're actually kind of cute. <laughs> you're only now noticing that. Oh, she had a youngster's experience with one, so I get it. It's a real jaw. He's back. Having done exactly what we set out to do. And a paka is brought is just mere is it glowing. I've heard tales of such beast. They say the golden alpaca leaves a solitary existence deep in the valley. When it shuns the company of both man and its own kind. How did he manage to snare such a prize like that? A beast knows its betters. Faced with overwhelming strength, it will yield rather than risk death. An apt illustration of how greatly the power of the first promise exceeds yours, Wukmalat Wuk Lamat. Strength alone won't win our father's throne. I'll be the one to find the golden city, and then Taral can remain at peace. An everlasting desire for peace can only be forged in the fires of war. Unite as one, the people must be taught. They must suffer the horror and the hopelessness firsthand. Wow. Exhaustion from prolonged conflict, the wages of war, merciless nature. These are what moved the clans to join the founding of Tulialal all those years ago. Consider the younger generation of this village. Since birth, they have basked in unbroken harmony, and behold, they regard war not as tragedy, but opportunity. Thus does the resilient son seek to provide education. He offers much needed lessons in the realities of conquest and a renewed appreciation for peacetime. It's true that war's misery breeds a longing for peace. 
and I have seen with my own eyes what becomes of an empire forged the violence you propose the rebellions it spawned and the ruins it left behind the Galian Empire was a congregation of simpletons wow what does he know The oppressed fought back against the oppressors as well they should. And are not beasts. Only a fool would seek to rule over all with the threat of force alone. That's why Gulul Jaja did not elevate the Malul Jaja. Why he treated all clans with equal respect. However, First promise has his gaze fixed upon more distant horizon. He would unite not only Tulia at all, but the star in its entirety. Well, that. What? Why? I need not explain myself to you. Oh, well done. Well done indeed. First promise has completed the feat of gold with an appropriately golden flourish. May I present to you your much deserved keystone. He's always been like that. Never sharing his innermost thoughts with me or even Kona. It's like we're not even family. Wowzers. All right, folks. I'm, uh, I think this is uh, a good place for me. Uh, <laughs> to stop it for the evening i promise to be back uh tomorrow uh, during the day i uh i had my uh my herculean task of uh wrestling i know the msq isn't done i promise tomorrow we're gonna put in a super long super long stream i'm gonna start much much earlier throughout the day uh i just spent many hours today uh kind of fruitlessly which which added to the uh to the angst uh but yeah um uh and that was wrestling with uh with my first vod which uh turns out that the file was completely corrupted and that the drive that I was saving my recordings to has uh, shit the bed, shall we say, uh, to be so politely. Fortunately, I've got uh, I've got another drive that I'm now I'm now recording uh, to that's in in good health and stuff. So unfortunately, uh, the bots that I'm gonna be posting are gonna start from episode two and on. But uh, that's the way it goes. And now it makes sense why it makes sense why the software I was using for quite some time was doing a most excellent job and didn't have any problems, and then started like freaking out. Uh, yeah uh yeah no no it it it, it, it totally does right like it's uh it's kind of a bummer because i liked that first episode because i had done uh i had done the fantasia thing uh which you had posted in uh our discord action and stuff and i was like oh yeah this is kind of neat little like a neat little thing and and whatever but hey shite happens uh 
you know, and and it's all good. But yeah, I'll uh, I'll be back tomorrow, guys. Uh, much much earlier, uh, and I'll have several pots of coffee waiting in the wings and all that good stuff. But uh, I love each and every one of you guys. Remember to hit that follow button if you haven't done so already. Uh, and I shall uh, be back tomorrow with more MSQ. Take care.